everyone has their ultimate chocolate chip cookie recipes, ones that have been passed down from grandma's grandma, the latest Food Network craze, or the most popular pin on Pinterest. What if I told you I had a recipe for all three of those? The gooeyest, chewiest, most satisfying chocolate chip cookie. The one your neighbors will fall in love with, when they're, that you'll give to them when they're sad, happy, or you just want them to be a little bit more plump. You'll be the neighborhood legend. The one who makes those cookies. Now let's get started on grandma's recipe with a little twist. First you'll need to gather all your ingredients. Remember, quality ingredients makes a quality cookie. You will need one cup of butter, three fourths cup of brown sugar, quarter cup or one fourth cup of granulated sugar, a 3.4 ounce package of vanilla instant pudding, two large eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. We're going to separate this dry and wet ingredients. We're going to begin by putting the two sticks of butter and the sugars together and mixing those until they are creamy. Once this part's all mixed together, we're going to add the vanilla pudding, which is that extra ingredient that you would have never thought of. While we're waiting for that to mix, in a medium bowl, we'll put all our dry ingredients together. We'll put in our flour, our baking soda, and our salt into this. And then after we put this in, We're going to mix in the pudding and then we'll add in the rest of our wet ingredients, the egg and the vanilla. After that's mixed, we'll put in our flour along with the other dry ingredients. And we'll just do a little bit at a time so that it can mix in. While you're waiting for that, you can set your oven to 350 degrees and make sure you get a cookie sheet that you've sprayed down. We'll keep adding in our dry ingredients. You may have to stop it and get the chunk off of the mixing part. Now as this is going, remember that you want to mix it until it's just combined, not so it um, gets too tough or cakey, because nobody likes a tough cookie. Next, we'll mix in our chocolate chips, the best part. And 
now you've got your mix for the chocolate chip cookies. You then want to make them into little balls and drop them onto the cookie sheet. Once you finish that, you've got your cookies. Once everything is mixed together, um, there you go. Um, now that you have all the tips and ingredients, including that surprising one that you would have never thought of, you can go and become the next bake sale legend. Go whip up some and put a smile on the face of your neighbors and maybe even a couple extra pounds.